Hello everybody. Uh, this is the actual video regarding the gyro credit slip which you get off the energy companies. Um, if you ask for an invoice or a bill they'll send you a gyro credit slip. If you don't they'll just keep sending you a statement. Uh, and what you do is you take over the document um, you put three first class postage stamps across the top you sign it, date it then you write but not on the document you keep the document do not touch that document with pen you don't, never put pen to paper to it so what we've done is we've cut a piece of paper out and, and wrote non-transferable across the front diagonal which is diagonal set that way and that's from years ago when you used to draw your sword from left to right to strike the document out glue that to the document yeah, do you want to come and look at the document? Let's zoom in. So most of the documents are about Santander, which is a Spanish bank. But there you've got the three stamps, one, two, three. My name across there, Wesley Amad TM. Date, which is today's date, 39th of October 2014. There's your piece of paper. All you do is glue that to that document, yeah. That, that, that'll be your figure and that'll be your national insurance number. Then what you do, if you turn the document over, which I'm going to do now, this is pretty straightforward. What you do again is you get another stamp, first class stamp, put your name across it, Wesley Amad TM, sign and date it, which I've done there, and that's just above where you tear it off, you see. See that? Well, it could, that's, you can tear the the check away from the actual document itself so don't put anything on the document itself then what you do is you get another piece of paper and I'll turn it round that way so you can see it properly and I'll read it out to you so it says there this bill of exchange is hereby transferred by endorsement to British Gas on this occasion for payment at the site of the sum of £175.50 as the figure. Transferred by your name, in my case Wesley Amid, TM, of your address, then you put your address, then you put your national insurance number, whatever your insurance number is, and it's a non-commercial customer. Then endorsed by your name again there, date, and that's it, done. Now what you do is you stick that and glue that to that document, and that's it, send it back, by recorded delivery or what some people are doing they're actually using uh, going into the post office and getting a receipt for that stamp and that's that's as good as having it recorded delivered but if you haven't recorded delivered it is trackable so that you can track and trace if the documents received and it gets signed for in return which is all done through um, recorded delivery and that's it basically so there's your video what you've all been screaming for um, I'll do it right up to go with the video as well so you can understand exactly how, how I've, what I've just said to, to the way to do it. It has been used and tried and it's worked against British Gas because they tried to apply for a warrant three times to change their normal meter which was outside to a prepayment meter and every time um, my friend's gone to the court and it's been knocked back and the last occasion the clerk actually said to the magistrate that um, is actually seeked a remedy so it does work so there's a remedy in what we're saying now I'm trying it with HMRC I don't think anybody's tried it before with them this method so I'll let you know and keep you up to date and informed on what happens uh, and how they react to this document being sent back to them and that's it so my name is Wesley Ahmed uh, Beat the Bailiffs and Banks North West uh, Beat the Bailiff Response Team North West and stand for common law. Catch you later guys.